Hello everyone, uh, this is another video uh, in which we are going to talk about what is called the hip sid vas or, or, or hip sid uh, vessel. Uh, the hip sid vessel is made, it is made out of uh, alabaster and alabaster in ancient Egypt was called shis. Okay, was called shis. Alabaster is quite from the eastern desert as well as uh, a certain place in or at Minya Governorate, we call it, or they called it in ancient times, Hatnub. So they bring alabaster from Hatnub, which is situated in Minya Governorate. Um, this was, uh, it is dated to the second dynasty, uh, and it was discovered under the steep pyramid of King Jisr at Saqqara, precisely in the subterranean galleries okay so um it is related or associated with the hepsid because of the representation for the one of the events of the hepsid here we have mentioned before what is the hepsid and again briefly it is a festival in which the king uh, rejuvenates his powers he proves to uh, the Egyptian people that he still enjoys the agility, the strength, and the power, and he's still capable enough to continue ruling Egypt for more 30 years. So it's like he's renewing his own uh, regency on the throne. Uh, one of the events, the events that takes place uh, in the ceremony is that the king is being crowned twice. So the one as once as a king of Upper Egypt and once as king of Lower Egypt. And that would be made on base of a stone or a pedestal of a stone on which double thrones are placed. In uh, the funerary complex of King Jisr, we have, uh, as I told you, the Hepset court in which we can see different um, monuments that were used in celebrating this festival. For instance, we have subsidiary rooms in which the king used to change his clothes. Okay? So he had to change his clothes because there are different faces of the festival. One of these faces re requires like a loose garment so that he can uh, run quickly and fight the ball. Okay? Um, uh, another purpose is to change the clothes of the king as he would wear once the costume of Upper Egypt and the second time or the other time he would change it and wear the costume for the uh, lower Egyptian uh, or the lower Egyptian part. Okay. So uh, also in uh, the, the funeral complex of King Jisr, we can find a pedestal with two stairs with two stairs. The, the, the king used it to ascend the, the pedestal or the, the base, okay? So to take uh, place in the ceremony and being crowned as king of Upper Egypt, and he uses the other one to ascend also the base and to be uh, crowned as king of Lower Egypt. The same thing is represented on this vessel or vase. We have different elements, but before we talk about the, the, the main uh, concept or the main scene here, we should recognize the parts of the vase or, or the vessels. So it is composed of three parts. This is the neck of the jar. The neck of the jar. This is, is the handle of the jar. The neck, the handle, and the body. Sometimes we have a pedestal, okay? The neck, the handle, and the body of the jar. So these are the elements which compose together the, the vessel here. To the scene. In the middle, we have square uh, uh, pedestal which has two stairs or two stairways on each side. This is a stairway and that is a stairway. 
as a king used to uh, proclaim or to ascend once as if you see this is a pavilion that is connected with the handle this pavilion أو الشيلتر ده المأوى ده شباب أو يعني الغرفة أو الشكل ده has back to back thrones في زي كرسيين عرش كده بصين ظهر بعض لو تاخدوا بالنا يعني ده بصص كده وده بصص كده فالملك هيصعد من هنا مرة هيجلس هيتم تتويجه كملك مصر العليا وهينزل ومرة تانية هيطلع وهيجلس هنا وهيتم تتويجه كملك لمصر السفلى وهينزل this is the purpose for representing the two stairways as from which the king would be uh, sit here on one of these uh, thrones and being crowned once as a king of upper Egypt and the other one as king of lower Egypt okay but the pavilion in which we have back-to-back -back, uh, thrones this scene occurs on the like uh, uh, on the hands or supported by here a representation for a crouching man this crouching man which is holding the pedestal upon which the ceremony takes place we identify him as God Heh the word Heh is associated with the number million in ancient Egypt as well as it is uh, the name for God Heh who was one of the uh, Ugdud Ugdud is a word means like uh, the, the eight per persons Thamun and he was one of the members of the Hermopolis the uh, Hermopolis uh, theory of creation can هو أحد أعضاءها فحح كان إشارة للأبدية ورقم مليون Symbolism هنا in Hech like guaranteeing, uh, repeating of celebrating this festival for a million of years. تمام بيضمن إعادة احتفال بهذا العيد لمليون سنة. بنلاقي فوق هنا على ال ال handle هنا في representation for a scarab, scarab beetle, scarab beetle اللي هو الجعران. The scarab beetle هنا شباب ده دائما symbolism the resurrection and rebirth. أولا السكارب بيتل was one of the forms of the god uh, the, the sun god Ra لأن السن يا شباب كان ليها تلت هيئات الهيئة الأولى وهي على شكل الجعران الهيئة التانية هو كرسي الشمس رع كان اسمه خبري السكارب بيتل اسمه خبري أو خبر تمام ده كان بيمثل الشروق عندك رع أو عندك رع بيمثل الظهيرة والقوة وفي الآخر في أتوم بالميم تمام بيمثل مرحلة الغروب أي كبر السن فخبري هنا بي آه يعني symbolize the rebirth و resurrection لأن ده bisexual آه آه يعني كان ده كائن آه آه ثناء الجنس بيعمل عملية التخصيب لنفسه وبيعمل ال 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 البيت بتاعه في داخل إطار شكل كرة تمام ومنها المصري شاف إن دي فيها زي إيه inspiration إن منها بيخرج الحياة وده كان ليه ارتباط بالبعث والخلود وكمان ليه ارتباط إن هو أول صور الشمس دي صورة تالتة بتوضح هنا بشكل يعني فيها زوم شوية ان انا عندي this is the pavilion which عندنا هنا مثلا covers ال back to back throne تمام يا شباب و upon which as I told the king is being crowned once as king of upper Egypt and the other the other side the king is crowned as lower Egypt احنا قلنا في البداية in this vase or this vessel is uh, dated to the second dynasty but how come uh, although that this uh, vessel is discovered beneath the subterranean galleries of the steep pyramid of King Jesser which is dated of course to the third dynasty but because of the artistic style features and when they compared with like a certain or documented uh, vessels date to the second dynasty, they found both are similar in the same artistic style. So it is not problem that the king or the people brought a uh, elder vessel to uh, house uh, beneath the subterranean um, 
galleries. The purpose of a vessels, uh, it was like uh, uh, variegated between uh, different things. Maybe it was used to contain, they were used to contain uh, uh, ointment. Uh, most probably, and then, for perfumes, perfumes, the 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 vessels vessels contain the water. زي اللي هي إناء الحسود أو الحسود اللي كان بيتحط فيها الكبح والماء الباردة ده بالنسبة حاجة كده بسيطة عن الحبسد فيسل أو فاز إن شاء الله يعني نكمل بقية الفيديوهات شكرا لكم يا شباب